all right, got a very shocking video right here. It's a uh, testimony on behalf of somebody else actually describing how an Australian, an Australian branch of Stephen Anderson's new IFB call actually pushed an elderly 68-year-old man down a flight of stairs after they asked him to leave. They were asking him a bunch of questions. One of them had a camera, by the way, too. And as he was leaving, they pushed him down a flight of stairs. See, this is what the new Stephen Anderson's new IFB cult of violence does. You know, when someone tries to disagree with Anderson or, or even just try to leave, they'll attack them. There have been many cases where there's been like full-on fights going on in these new IFB cult buildings. That simple. The new IFB is, in fact, a cult of violence. So here's the, here's the testimony video of the uh, incident, what happened. And, and again, there apparently was a video of the whole thing, but the members of the Australian branch of that new IFB cult are not going to release it for obvious reasons because it would impl implicate them. So watch this. Hello, Victor Tay from the Church in Punchbowl. I'm just making this video to address a recent incident involving Logan Robinson and a few of his church members that was so unbelievable that my first reaction when I heard about it was to defend him. Now I received a comment on a YouTube video of mine from a man called Daniel Clark and basically what he describes is he went to visit Pillar Baptist Church and after he sat down they looked up his name online and then they told him that he wasn't welcome, welcome and then they forced him out of the congregation. Now as he was leaving they stopped him to ask him more questions but then when he went to leave the second time they actually pushed the man down the stairs. Now, as I said, my first reaction when my church brought it to my attention was that Daniel may just be over-exaggerating because I can't imagine the bishop of a Bible-believing church ever doing that to an elderly man. But then I came across a comment from Logan Robinson on a public Facebook post of Donnie Romero bragging about how they threw this man down the stairs and they made it seem like, he made it seem like he was one of my close friends. Now, what he didn't mention was, number one, I've never, I've never met Daniel Clark in person. We spoke one time on the phone because he was thinking about visiting the church in Punchbowl, and to this day, he still hasn't. Number two is that he doesn't even agree with my view on the Godhead. And number three, he's a 68-year-old elderly man. Now, I don't know whose version of the events is the truth, but one thing Daniel Clark did mention to me is that when all this took place, one of Logan's church members recorded the whole incident on video because they were trying to get his answers to their questions recorded. Now, Stephen Albany has confirmed that they have the footage, but they're not willing to release it. So my challenge to Logan is, if you felt justified in pushing a 68-year-old man down a flight of stairs and then jumping on social media to brag about it to all your new IFB buddies, why don't you just release the whole footage unedited for all to see? Daniel Clark would love to see the footage too. Now, just this week, uh, Pastor Logan Robertson over in Australia got arrested. But let me tell you something. I, you know, if I saw that, I would have been his biggest fan over there. And I'm sure that there are other little Steven Andersons over there, you know, a teenage Steven Anderson over there watching TV down under saying, hey, you know, I, I don't know how to impersonate, you know. <laughs> They're going to say it's fair dinkum or whatever, you know. This mate's all right, you know, whatever, you know. <laughs> Crikey. So, you know, they're going to they're gonna like it. Somebody's going to, you say, well, 99% of people aren't going to agree with them. Well, you know what? Then those 99% of people, nuts to them, I'm more interested in the 1%. Thinking pervert in Arizona called Steven Anderson. It's disgusting. Yeah, that's nuts. So again, remember, it's a 68-year-old man, a very elderly man, and they push him down the stairs, flight of stairs. Uh, this is not how a bishop is supposed to act. But again, the new IFB, they're full of unstable people because Anderson himself is unstable. So thus the new IFB, they're all the little branches of Anderson's cult are going to be unstable. Here are the qualifications for a bishop or an overseer, or you know, can call him a pastor. Uh, 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 down to verse 7. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. The bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given the hospitality, apt to teach not given to wine, nor a striker, nor a greedy, a filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous. Um, I think pushing down an elderly man, not pushing an elderly man down the stairs is not, uh, it's failing to be not a brawler or not a striker. 
Uh, one that rules well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. For if, for if a man know not how to rule his own house, how, so, how shall he take care of the church of God? No, no, let lest we lift up a pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. Uh, Anderson's new IFB, the occultists, uh, they, vi they violate the, the qualifications for a bishop or an overseer. And that is just another example about pushing a 68-year-old elderly man down the stairs. So I wanted to show you just more examples of the new IFB being a cult of violence. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.